So what's interesting is a lot of buyers are coming out and finding that you know, it's not necessarily the financial piece that's making transactions hard. The funding is there. What we're having an interesting uh, discussion with advisors about is that it's, it's not so much the ability to afford a practice, it's the ability to absorb a practice. And so when an advisor is working with us at FP Transitions, we're looking at what's their valuation, what are some of their key performance indicators when we benchmark their practice, and we're finding things that are related to the scale and capacity of their business and the profitability of the business that are actually making it maybe more challenging for them to be qualified and skilled buyers, more so than it is the financing. For advisors that want to transition ownership over time, there's a couple of interesting trends we're seeing. Number one is the rise of succession planning. So it's always been around, that's been a part of the industry for quite some time, but we're really seeing an increase in more advisors wanting to have multi-generational clients and to do so they have multi-generational businesses. And so generating internal succession plans has been something that's cropping up a lot more in our discussions with our clients. Uh, but we're also seeing a, an interesting rise in the number of sell and stay transactions. So typically when an advisor would sell their business, it would be a sell and walk away from the business after 12 months or so when they've got their check and they're ready to move on. But what we're seeing now is more advisors that want to keep working and have more of a glide path to retirement where they can take some of the components of being an owner of the business and transition that off their plate, sell the business now, maybe take some chips off the table while their business is at an all-time high in its value, and instead be able to keep working, focus more on just going back to being a wealth manager and advisor for their clients, and offload some of those responsibilities of being an owner that maybe aren't so fun anymore.